Good afternoon. The faculty may be seated. Concordia University St. Paul welcomes you all, especially our graduates, your family, your loved ones, and your friends who are with us today during this May 2024 commencement ceremony. Whether our graduates come to us from the Twin City metro area, across the country, or around the world, we proudly honor all who have worked so hard and tirelessly to earn their degrees face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and in online formats. We're equally grateful for our faculty and staff who each day work to put our students at the forefront of all that we do. 
Graduates, we're proud of you and all you've accomplished and all that you will continue to accomplish in the years ahead. I now invite the Reverend Tom Gunderman, university pastor, to lead our invocation. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, King and Lord of all creation, in the name of Jesus the Son, the Prince of Glory, all our righteousness, Savior of the nations, in the name of the Holy Spirit, who in the beginning hovered over the waters and leads and guides us to calm waters now. We give you all praise, Lord God, for this brief time of reflection and celebration. Thank you for family and friends gathered to give thanks. Thank you for faculty and staff who teach and serve and love. Thank you for these graduates completing their degrees today. Even more so, thank you for loving us with an everlasting, unconditional love on the cross. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we recognize the many individuals who have contributed to our community in unique and meaningful ways. Concordia University St. Paul embraces its rich, multicultural, urban environment, and we are proud to be one of the most diverse universities in Minnesota. Our international program, which currently represents students from 42 countries, adds great richness and texture to the learning experience here. Concordia University also recognizes and honors veterans who have or are currently serving in the armed forces of the United States of America. We are deeply grateful for your service and invite you to stand and be recognized as we honor all those who have served in any branch of the armed forces of the United States. Would you please stand? Today, it's also a thrill to recognize our graduates' number one fan, their family, friends, spouses, and other loved ones who have supported, encouraged, and invested in their lives. Would you please stand so we can recognize and celebrate you? In case you didn't know, graduates, there's a cast of hundreds behind you, cheering you on and joyfully celebrating with you today. But today, graduates of our May 2024 commencement class, we celebrate you. We celebrate all that you've accomplished through your academic journeys and as you prepare to move on from Concordia University St. Paul. Our theme for the past year has been, I have called you by name. These words were first recorded by the prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament nearly 2,700 years ago. And while they were intended for God's people who were refugees and captives in a foreign country, these words also speak into our lives today. Names. Names are important. Names matter. In just a few minutes, each of your names, graduates, will be read, and there will be great joy as they are read. Each of us was given a name at birth. Some of us were named after friends or relatives, biblical figures or historical individuals. Others have been named after television characters, athletes, musicians, historic people. Some have even haven't had our names chosen from a book, and it seems today parents are either making up names or searching the internet to find a unique and very interesting name. Oh, the possibilities seem endless. Regardless of where our names come from, they carry significant meaning for us. They are how we are known and addressed by loved ones, friends, and coworkers. On the flip side, likely all of us have at times 
been called by the wrong name or have had someone forget our name or perhaps even had a barista misspell or misspeak our name. I know that firsthand. My name, Brian, sometimes is misspelled as brain, and those who know me find quite a bit of humor in that. Sometimes being called by the wrong name is occasion for humor or levity. Other times, it's a painful, hurtful, or annoying experience. Names matter to us personally, but they also matter in other areas of our lives. In our professional endeavors, we need to know the names of people, concepts, products. For example, teachers strive to know the names of their students on the first day of class. Physical therapists must know the names of specific joints and muscles. Accountants must know the names of the different parts of a balance sheet. Musicians must know the names of the notes they are singing or playing. And nurses must know the medications they're administering to their patients. Part of your experience at CSP has been learning names, names associated with your discipline and career paths. But in your time here, you've done more than just memorize or understand names. You've seen how they relate one to another, how they describe important concepts, and how they need to be used accurately and effectively. Our theme this year shows us that names don't just matter in a broad sense, but in a very specific sense. And they matter most to God. Because when God calls us by name, He doesn't do it as an angry parent or boss. God always gets our name right because He's a loving Father who gives our lives meaning and purpose. Today, as we celebrate you, graduates, we celebrate not just this accomplishment, but the gifts, abilities that God has given you. Regardless of what degree you will hold, what industry you will serve in, where you're at in your career path, know that each and every day, God gives you opportunities to use all of the gifts He's given you to serve others who have names. Theologian Frederick Beekner once said, the place God calls you to is the place where your deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meet. Our world is fractured. Our late relationships, one with another, are strained and broken, and too often we call each other by the wrong names, intentionally, on purpose, for selfish interests. Hatred, war, disease, famine, and injustice are everywhere. At times, it seems that the world's deep hunger can feel incredibly bleak and hopeless. But today, today as you go forth from here, there's joy and there's hope and there's confidence. We celebrate that in Jesus, the name above all names, all people by God's grace can receive forgiveness, hope, peace, salvation, and lasting joy. God, as He always is, is in the process of setting things right, of helping meet the world's deepest hurts and hunger through you, people He calls by name. Graduates, as you go forth from here, be confident, be courageous. You are called and equipped by name to use everything God has given you to serve Him and the others right around you. Congratulations. Will the candidates for the associate level degrees please rise? President Friedrich, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you the candidates for the degree of Associate of Arts. 
by the authority vested in me as president of Concordia University by its Board of Regents, and upon your completing all academic requirements, I award to you the degree Associate of Arts together with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to that degree. Would the candidate please be seated? Will the candidates for the bachelor level degrees please rise? President Friedrich, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. By the authority vested in me as the president of Concordia University by its Board of Regents, and upon your completing all academic requirements, I award to you the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities associated with that degree. Would the candidates please be seated? Will the candidates for the master level degrees please rise? President Friedrich, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts Teaching, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Arts, and Master of Science. By the authority vested in me as president of Concordia University by its Board of Regents, and upon your completing all academic requirements, I award to you the degree of Master of Arts Teaching, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Arts, and Master of Science, together with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities associated with those degrees. Will the candidates please be seated? Will the candidates for the Education Specialist degree please rise? President Friedrich, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you the candidates for the degree of Education Specialist. By the authority vested in me as president of Concordia University by its Board of Regents, and upon your completing all academic requirements, I award to you the degree of Education Specialist, together with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to that degree. Would the candidates please be seated? Will the first two rows of candidates please come forward Aliciana Burks. <laughs> Caitlin Anderson. <laughs> Olivia Butterfield. <laughs> Eduardo Caballero. Alexis Coleman. <laughs> Victoria Eastham. Ariana Allingson. Lorraine Erickson. Denny Garzon Villanueva. Anthony Gavieres. Samantha Hannell. Jasmine Jackson. Kayla Johnson. Janelle Lundblad Dahl. Ilario Matos.
Zena Mater. David Morales. Marco Moreno. Sato Musa. Christina Nelson. Nicole O'Connor. Rebecca Verwers. Angela Wagner. Chloe Zog. Joe Adams. Emma Ahart. Gianni Luciano Alm. Anna Almerman. Stephanie Anaya Kurt. Maya Anderson. Renee Anderson. Sarah Anderson. Jennifer Augustine. <laughs> Becca Osk. <laughs> Molly Berry. <laughs> Jessica Busile. Mary Bauman. <laughs> Catherine Beaudry. <laughs> Johanna Beaupre. <laughs> Rossman Becker. Angie Betterman. Lillian Betts. Amber Berkmeyer. Caitlin Bowman. Brandon Carl. Amanda Carlson. Paloma Perez. Chelsea Simensky. Kelsey Sharon. Leslie Chase. Carly Christensen. Mitchell Christensen.
Rachel Ann Bowman Christensen. Caitlin Crawford. Brett Cooperus. Alexander Davis. Jennifer Dawn. Rachel DeBoer. CG Deering. Chloe Dolan. Jeremiah Dozier. Joyce Dufert. Pizza Erlard. Jill Ellison. Ramona Endress. Tyler Engler. Carol Esser. Bradley Essig. Aaron Evans. Ann Evans. Jody Femright. James Fisher. Erica Fletcher. <laughs> Megan Furlong. <laughs> Jimmy Morari. Anna Gallatin. Van Gallatin. Mackenzie Geyer. Allie Geetzel. Melissa Gettle. Anna Getzman. Naomi Grimm Downing. Jenna Goot. Victoria Hart. Travis Hartman. Madison Haugo. Amber Hauser. Alexis Heisler. Alexis Helget. Matthew Helser. J. 
Jacqueline Hendrickson. Emily Hernandez. Kaylee Hetrick. Madeline High. Danielle Hoffman. Gretchen Hoey. Beth Hebner. Haley Holtz. Amber Janicki. Devonte Johnson. Katherine Johnson. Katherine Katzman. Katrina Kenzie. Rachel Kinder. Emily Knight Skumon. Rachel Krebs. Catherine Lank. April Larson. Matthew Lasco. Christopher Lowey. Catherine Lechleitner. Sydney LeMay. Amanda Lennertz. Catherine Locke. Haley Lowline. Lorinda Lozier. Amy Ludowies. Jack Lutz. Emily Magner. Krista Martin. Blanca Matthias Martinez. Stephanie McCarthy. Amy McGuire. Caitlin Menking. Elise Menson. Lauren Miller. Christine Mockley. Ifra Mahamud. Kristen Moonen. Kiana Moses.
Kao Mua Tu. Catherine Naomi. Michael Nelson. Jennifer Olson. Kavya Iramala. Latanya O'Neill. Liana Pachat. Claire Phillips. Christine Preby. Audrey Pruitt. Rebecca Brzezetsky. Nasira Rahman. Jesse Richards. Nina Rieselman. Kylan Ricks. Marissa Rowan. Stephanie Rohr. Cassandra Rood. Carrie Rosenberg. Lilandra Ross. Shania Ruling. Caitlin Russell. Byron Sobel. Nathan Ladoria. Sydney Sampson. Rochelle Scanlon. Gina Shimshaw. Alex Schwartz. Lori Sertich. Allison Seawitch. Chantel Shorter. Tiana Sky. Abby Sklebar. Sage Stangle. Jordan Steffer. Emily Steyer.
Melissa Stranton. Jacob Swanson. Zupa Tao. Kristen Thielen. Michelle Thomas. Brianna Totsky. April Walker. Taylor Van Clay. Molly Vansill. Tu Vang. Brianna Vincent. Austin Verossi or Telts. Carrie Bulk. Jill Walker. Kellyanne Warren. Rachel Weiss. Blair Weir. Krista Weemiller. Courtney Wilberg. Maggie Witt. Nicole Wolf. Teresa Xiong. Shalena Eason. Caitlin Zeller. Nicole Arntzen. Annalena Forsman. Sarah Iverson. Dallas Moeller. Jason Caballero. Kara Wackro. Edith Rivera Contreras. Lona Vu. Anna Fritzi. Wayne Bean. Zachary Benson. Jack Campbell. Kayla Chang. Jessica Dahlquist.
Joshua East. Aaron Fisher. Aaron Francis. Kylie Hiram. Patricia M. Holtz. Alan Johnson. Kip Knudsen. Ashlyn Kwasik. Jay Lee. Bailey Miller. Jacob Rao. Brian Smith. Marshall Tao. Fong Bang. Patricia Hannah Villarmea. Greta Warmka. Joseph Weir. Joshua Wiley. Jamie Barton. Byron Carter. Larissa Eitnier. McKenna Fredrickson. Stephanie Gwynn. <laughs> Hannah Hang. <laughs> Fauzi Hassan. <laughs> Jamie Heiss. Katie Jewell. Sarah Koffenberg. Vijay Kumar Kanala. Umesh Telly. Molly Cray. Larray Ludwig. Charles Luter. Andrew Parker. Ashley Ross. Jennifer Williams. Bang Yang. Deanna Williams.
One of the traditions in a doctoral commencement is the bestowing of a hood, which signifies scholarly and personal achievement. In our case this afternoon, it represents the transition from student to doctor of education. Will the candidates who have completed the degree of Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership and Doctor of Education in Kinesiology please rise? President Friedrich, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you these candidates for the Doctor of Education. By the authority vested in me as President of the Concordia University by its Board of Regents, and upon your completing all academic requirements, I award to you the degree of Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership and Doctor of Education in Kinesiology, together with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities associated with that degree. Will the candidates please come forward? Dr. Jill Bachman. <laughs> Dr. Dina Clapp. Dr. Carolyn Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Dr. Akila Roberson. Dr. George Daughtry. <laughs> Dr. Courtney Payne. And finally, Dr. Wakpor Rangel. At this time, we will now individually recognize our graduates who are participating with us virtually.
Leonor, May, Yuhan, Ahmed, Abdulay, Sasha, Aguilar, Mercedes, Anderson, Carly, Bowman, Jillian, Ganglel, Dan, Halter, Rachel, Umensky, Natasha, Lemmy, Susan, Moravec, Kylie, Piggy, Nicole, Puckett, Kaylee, Richmond, Amy, Samuels, Victoria, Tiger, Abigail, Trichel, Annie, Tui, LeMay, Allison, Anderson, Lizette, Orocho, Christina, Ox, Trevor, Botch, Rebecca, Beck, Ella Becker, Mackenzie Beckers, Marissa Bourne, Carly Bowman, Sarah Bowersand, Melissa Brooks, Jamie Carson, Elise Christian, Anne Dublin, Melissa Glenn, Lindsay Goff, Camilla Gonzalez, Alexandra Hauger, Justice Holland, Julie Isabel, Morgan Jelkin, Daniel Lee, Noelle Mackey, Rhea Melby, Amber Middendorf Vanderlyn, Eastar Miri, Ekaterina Mokershina, Ashley Munt, Donna Nelson, Thomas Orr, Teresa Protowitz, Tracy Russell, Kyle Schmidt, Jennifer Seal, Cassandra Schaefer, Lauren Simon, Lisa Sloan, Alyssa Sly, Morgan Syria Vangsai, Rudy Stevenson, Jana Sumar, Sarah Wurzel, Rachel West, Kelsey Undum, Emily Young, Palmer Scheim, Associate Vice President of Alumni and Constituent Relationship, to bring a welcome from the Concordia University St. Paul Alumni Association. Thank you, President Friedrich. On behalf of the Concordia St. Paul Alumni Association and its more than 30,000 members, congratulations on your graduation and welcome to your association. We are so proud of your accomplishments and we join you in celebrating this huge milestone. Your Alumni Association membership is really the next step in your relationship with your alma mater. While your classes and homework are now complete, we encourage you to continue to stay engaged with us, whether you live just down the street, in the next state over, or across the world, and whether this is your first degree or your third. If you're with us today, we hope you enjoy the welcome packet that was waiting for you at your seat. Inside, you'll find a small gift and valuable information about your association. For those joining us virtually, your gift should arrive in the next week or two. In early June, you'll also receive a communication from our office highlighting the benefits and services available to you through your free association membership. We hope you'll take some time to explore your lifetime connection to Concordia St. Paul. Concordia seeks to be your university for life offering you opportunities to stay engaged through event attendance, 
virtual learning experiences, student mentoring, or becoming a part of one of our alumni advisory councils. We also want to help you stay connected with one another. Our Rafter app helps with that, and you'll find the steps to get started in your packet. We know the Alumni Association will offer you many opportunities to remain a part of Concordia, Concordia St. Paul's community, and to enhance your life personally and professionally. We'd love for you to keep us updated on the next steps in your life and your career. Visit our friend, Alumni and Friends website to share your news with us and to stay up to date with all that we are offering to you. Your Concordia Alumni Association is here to support you in this next phase of your life. Please let us know if there are ways we can assist or programs that we can offer to help you manage whatever comes your way. We wish you good health and success in your life's journey. Congratulations. Thank you, Rhonda. Pastor Tom Gunderman will now provide us the closing prayer. Let us pray. Know your word says, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Our hopes and dreams fall to you, Lord God. Tonight, as we bask in the glow of, these accomplish of the accomplishments of these graduates, we are mindful of your daily mercy and grace. Remind us of the sacrifice you made on the cross to make us part of your forever family. All we are belongs to you. Send these graduates to live forgiven in your peace. Mold us to care for one another with concern and compassion. Enable us to enable each of us as your children to relate to and seek to understand those who live and see life differently. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Lord God. Even so, Lord Jesus, quickly come. For as we navigate life and ministry together, we see dimly. And we long for the day that is coming soon when we will see clearly and perfectly in your eternal reign. Until that day, in response to your grace, lead us to lives of service and obedience in your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, we invite forward any students, faculty, staff, and alumni who would like to join the choir in singing Concordia's traditional benedictive anthem, Even So, Lord Jesus, quickly come.
Graduates, are you ready? And we are ready. We are ready to not only say congratulations, but go forth. Go forth to use all that you've learned and accomplished during your time at Concordia. We're excited to see how and where God leads you to serve him and others. So go and make contributions to the world in which we live and give to the value of your hard work and of those who have shared in your learning process. May God, who loves the whole world through Jesus, the Savior of the world, bless, guide, direct, and empower you as you serve and as you go from here. Congratulations. Thank you. 